Cool Stories has just released a beta version of their app and my courses are there. Please download the app and check out my courses how to breathe while singing, warm up any voice and expanding vocal range. It will mean so much to see you there. Let the video begin. Hello guys, Apakabar, I'm Jazik, I'm a singer and a vocal coach based in Warsaw, Poland and I've noticed that recently we have some big performances and great duets and this time we have Sheila Amzach and Jacqueline Victor performing together. The song title is Sampai Bila and I don't know if I've heard this song before but I definitely know both singers very well, especially Jacqueline. I did react to Sheila a couple of times and you seem to love it too, so why not? reacting to both of them singing at the same time. I gotta say it's kind of hard for me to imagine their duet because they're so different but their artistry is really good both of them so I guess that they can create some magic together. Before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and if you want to support my projects please download the app called Cool Stories. My courses are there and they've just released a better version of the app so if there are anything that you want to share with us just let us know. All right three two one go. <laughs> Jacqueline's dress. Yeah. I'm guessing that Sheila is a mezzo soprano and she has a little bit more meat and rounded tone when it comes to lower notes. For Jacqueline, she can sing low, but she will not have as much presence. But still, like we know how powerful she can get when she gets into her mid belts and, and higher notes. And it doesn't matter as long as you can, you know, cover the lower notes and be in the character and be convincing. She's a very good interpreter as well. <laughs> For Jacqueline, very nice and powerful as always. Beautiful, beautiful transition from her chest to her head on an E vowel. Their voices are super agile, and I gotta say that they both sing with such great pitch, like they they don't miss a note, which is a nice thing for live singers to do. I'm waiting for some harmonies, you know me, and I'm guessing that Jacqueline is going to sing the higher part and Sheila the lower part. Let's see if that happens. <laughs> Yes. Nice. Yes, so what I was expecting happened, which is a great thing because why wasting potential of having two great singers singing in harmonies with such big sound? Very well placed moment and I'm waiting for more. And that made sense as well, that made sense as well that Jacqueline sang a lower note in her chest and Sheila took the higher part of the harmony and sang in her head voice. I've noticed that Sheila 
can sing pretty powerful up until like C sharp 5 and D5 in her chest with a little bit of mixture, but she rarely goes higher with that intensity in her voice unless she switches to uh, head voice, which is pretty powerful as well, and nice vibrato. So it's always good to know your voice and your capabilities and use it to your advantage. There's no point trying to do things that you're not meant to do or you're not best at. The singers that you enjoy and love, even if they have like super high notes in their mix or chest voice, or they can be like super powerful, they do it because they can do it. If they couldn't, if they were trying, they would have screamed. Why screaming? You know, you can go off pitch, you can get tired, you can damage your voice. Just do whatever you're doing great and make sure that you have the message delivery. That was C sharp 5 for Sheila. D e flat 5 for Jacqueline. Beautiful. Their strengths are placed really well. Yay. Yes, respect and support as always in Malaysia. Yes, I loved it. I wasn't expecting this to be so good. I mean, like, I know that they're both great, but I had some second thoughts thinking that, oh, their voices sound so different, so maybe it's not gonna be, like, super stunning and amazing, but, you know, with their experience, they will definitely deliver a good performance, that this was far beyond good because they respected each other. It was not a battle. It was a duet, and that's what singers sometimes forget when they're on stage. You're duetting, you're not battling, battling the other singer, you know? So they've placed their strengths where it's supposed to be, and, you know, I don't know if someone helped them arrange that, or they came out with this arrangement. Maybe they did, because you can tell that, you know, it's well rehearsed, and it's it's not just like this performance that, oh, we've met two days ago, and let's, let's just sing. They know their voices, and they created magic. I loved it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more, and give me more requests. Keep me updated. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.